Eratosthenes 2.0 A Reality Check Although Pythagoras already taught his students that the Earth was a sphere, it was Eratosthenes who first seems to have calculated its size. He thought, Earth is a sphere and the Sun is so far away that the sunbeams are almost parallel. He found out that when the sun is right above Aswan, it casts a shadow behind a stick in Alexandria. The angle of that shadow was 7.3 degree. He also knew the distance between Aswan and Alexandria. If we divide the full circles 360 degrees by 7.3 degrees, we have about a 50th of a circle. If we now multiply the distance between Aswan and Alexandria with 50, we will get the circumference of our Earth. He came pretty close to Wikipedia. But what if his premises were wrong? If the Earth was flat and the Sun was so close that its beams are not parallel, couldn't we measure the same angle? Sure but only if the Sun is very close and we can check it by using a third point further north. The angles of the shadows would have to be trigonometrically consistent and it would make a huge difference if the Earth was a plane or a globe. And you know what? I did exactly that. Except that I took five points that are all situated on the same longitude of about 33 degrees east. As like Eratosthenes, I started in Aswan in Egypt. But instead of Alexandria, which lies a little bit off course, I took the small village of El Kerba on Sinai, which has the same latitude as Alexandria, but lies on the 33 degree east line. The next point is Ankara, Turkey, then O Alexandria in the Ukraine, and at last Murmansk in Russia. I went to a site called Sun Calc Org, where you can find out the angle of the sun for a certain location and a certain time. To avoid errors I checked the angles at two other sites. Sites as this are put up for astronomical and nautical uses. I randomly chose the 23rd of June 2017 and calculated the angles for the Sun for each of the five locations at noon. I've wrote down the locations and the Sun angles. Then I took a flat Earth model, marked the locations on it and drew the angles. If the model would fit reality, all the lines should intersect almost exactly in one point, the location of the Sun. As you can see, we cannot establish a clear position. Now to the globe model. Again, I marked the locations and drew the angles. They are almost parallel, which fits the model of a spherical Earth and a far away sun very well. Looks like Eratosthenes was right after all.